right now I'm gonna do the double 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 strategy. So first I'm gonna do a times three. So then I'm gonna use three doubled is six. Double again is twelve. And double one more time is twenty-four. And then another example I'm gonna do is six times eight. So I'm gonna do six doubled is twelve. Double again is twenty-four. Doubled one more time oh. is 48. And that is how you do the double double strategy. Right now, I'm going to skip counting with the number line. My example question is going to be 10 times 7. First, I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. There, our answer for that is 70. Next, I am going to use to 6 times 5. So 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, then 30. Yeah, that's your answer for six times five. That is how you use skip counting with the number line. Right now, I'm going to do nine equals ten minus one strategy. So my example question is going to be nine times eight. So we're going to take away and add an eight, so it makes it ten times eight. And that equals 80. And that's an easy question. So then, I'm going to do 80 minus the 8 we added at, at the beginning. So that equals 72. Here I'm going to do another example. I'm going to do 9 times 12. And then we're going to do, so 9, take, add 12 to the 9. It's 10 times 12. And that's easy, it's 120. Minus the 12 we at the beginning, so it's at 108. And that's how you use the 9 equals 10 minus 1 strategy.